Okay, so this is a short video, which I think in a way will probably replace a thousand words in trying to explain this process, on extracting either individual sounds or loops from Studio One sound sets and getting them into a folder or a place in such a way that we can import them into a different third-party instrument altogether. Which in the case of the uh, OP here, he's wanting to use a Waves drum machine. So how do we get these sounds into a Waves drum machine? Okay, I've got Impact installed over here, as you can see, and I've just dragged this kit over here, Artful Garage, across over to here, and we've got a bunch of sounds. I think one of the best ways to audition sounds, actually, is to simply load them up, and that way you can play them. If you've got Atom, f uh, for example, connected, it's even easier, because you can just obviously play the pads and, and get full access to these things. In the B bank, we might have a, 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 um, a drum groove or something that we want to grab. But let's say, let's say we wanted this sound here, perk three. Now, the thing to remember is that uh, the pads have one name, and up here is the actual name of the audio file itself. That's the true name of the audio file. So, despite the fact that down here, perk three. Uh, is the sound that we're after, this drip sound, the actual title of the audio file is up there, Perk Dripped 2. Now we come over here to my Files tab, and in here we can see we've got various things. My, my Studio One sound sets live here, where I suppose most people's are. Um, but we can also, here is the search field here. You have to click on the magnifying glass to see it. If it's not there, just click on the magnifying glass and we've got a little window here. Now make sure this is in the right place for you to search. It's the sound sets that we definitely want to be searching. If you've got this on volumes or documents or your desktop, it's going to go looking for these files elsewhere, which is sort of not what we need. We need the sound sets. Up here, I'm going to type the name of this sound, which is perk space drip 2. Now when, when you do that, this appears here. We've got this file. Now when we right click this file, there's two options here, actually. Um, you can show it in Explorer if you want, but that won't really help you a lot. It'll just show you that it came from this kit here, Impact XT Kits and Sounds version 2, which is cool. I suppose it's good to know where it was. If you right click and we can show in context, now this is interesting, we get here we get the actual sounds and the sound has actually already been selected. We can we can uh, double click it and audition it. We can also go up here and I can use my up down arrows um, to audition all the sounds in this kit. But we know it's perk 2 that we want. So that's really cool that it actually shows everything in bank A, at least. So you'll see all 16 sounds there. If you want to look into bank B, you can, and there it is there. Now, let's go back to bank A, and here's the sound that we're after. If we right-click this sound, you'll see that you do have some options. You can send to sample 1, you can send to another impact instance and create a new bank. This will just show up where it lives anyway, which is just what we saw earlier, which is not much help. From what I can see, though, you can't copy this file. But the best thing I find what you can do here is simply drag it out onto a track like this. And then if we open up the track, we'll see that it's there. So there it is. 
Now you might like the kick drum, for example, which is called kick click there, audition it. And likewise, we can just drag that out there like that. In bank B, for example, you might want this groove here. And if we go to bank B, you'll find that these grooves are listed here. And up here, can you see it's called drum 140, plinko top, and it's just a matter of finding it here. And there it is there. And we could audition this as well. Now the same thing goes here. You've, you've actually got limited resources in terms of what you can do here. So from what I can see, the only way, to, easiest way to get it out is to just drag it out on a track once again. And then um, we've got all these things here now. We've got uh, perk 2, the kick and the groove. Now, it's playing back at the original tempo here because over here in my track, I haven't actually told it to time stretch. So if you do want to hear it at the project tempo, you can. Even though it's actually, um, the tempo of the loop is actually 140, but it's playing back at 120. So once you're sort of happy that you've got a bunch of things on an audio track here like this, it's easy to get them out into another place. On my desktop, I've created a folder just called Extracted Sounds from Sound Sets. So it's just very easy to... Um, we can come right up here now, close this. We can get onto my desktop and there's this folder here. So I could just grab all of those things there and simply drag it into Extended Sound Set Files. It actually leaves them on the timeline, as you can see, but it's also put them in that folder. So it's a very, very easy way to do it. You've actually got them in there now. And if we were to have a look at this, um, you'll see that they're in there, all as WAV files and everything. 